Welcome back to Jamie and Julia. I'm Jamie. With me as always is Julia Child. Today we're going to be making salad niçoise. Oh! <laughs> bon appétit. For those who are joining for the first time, uh, I'm just an ordinary dude and I'm trying to get better at cooking and figure shit out in here. And uh, I'm following along to this cookbook here, Mastering the Art of French Cooking from Julia Child. And you know, it's got a lot of gems in here and today we're going the healthy route. So we're gonna make a salade niçoise, which is this Mediterranean combination salad. And I bet you had to like double look and be like, that guy is finally gonna make a salad on his show? Yes, finally, uh, something green. And no, not that green. Salmon, anchovies, tomatoes, potatoes, French beans, hard boiled eggs, and lettuce are all the usual elements for this appetizing combination. And you may arrange the salad in any manner you wish. Serve as an hors d'oeuvre or as a main course summer salad, or during a pandemic lockdown to yourself. How did she know? Okay, <laughs> there's lots to do, so uh, no more talking. Let's get. Let's get going. So firstly, I gotta make this French potato salad. So I need to peel up my, my taters. Boiling a big pot of water and I have my colander and that goes into, now this is the Julia Child way of boiling or steaming potatoes. You just put the potatoes that are peeled in there and put a lid on it. This water is for some hard boiled eggs and there's no mention in the book on how to hard boil an egg, but you. Don't worry, I've done it before. I'm gonna turn it down to a simmer and add my two eggs. And that's gonna go on for six minutes. Okay, the eggs are hanging out in some cold water. They're gonna go in the fridge for until I need them. Really. After 20 minutes, the potatoes should be uh, tender enough for me to poke them with the knife. Goes right in and uh, yes it does. Okay, potato in half and then one eighth slices. Julia says that the potatoes need to be warm in order for you to do this the way you're supposed to be uh, doing it. Uh, check that out. Four tablespoons of white wine. Mix that all in. These warm potatoes have to absorb this wine. That's gonna take a few minutes. Leave aside. Beat the vinegar or vinegar and a lemon juice, mustard and salt in a small bowl. I feel like I'm just making a vinaigrette. All right, so nextly I need, nextly, is that a word? Two tablespoons of vinegar, one teaspoon of mustard, quarter teaspoon of salt or whatever that is. So you can either do two tablespoons of white vinegar, which I did, or one tablespoon of vinegar and one tablespoon of lemon juice. I'm just gonna add a little lemon juice just cause. I have misplaced the tiny whisk. Uh, let's beat this together until the salt dissolves. I can probably just do this, can I? Tablespoon of olive oil, mix that in. Another tablespoon of olive oil, mix that in. A Little bit of olive oil, mix that in. A Little bit more olive oil. This should equal five tablespoons, but I'm just kind of, let's give it a taste. And maybe just a bit more, it's very sour. It's up to me how I want this to taste. Mmm. Woo! Tiny cutting board, tiny shallot, couple verts, couple horizontals, and away we go. And then slice it and dice it up into even smaller pieces. Pour some of this in here. All of it? Why not? Don't forget pepper. Why'd you do that? This dressing goes over the potatoes. I just pour all of it with the shallots and everything. Mix it all in. All right, so I'm just gonna put this in the fridge until I need it. Next up is the lettuce. Julia has given me specific instructions on how to wash this lettuce. Get it in the colander, rinse it with cold water, give it a shake onto the kitchen towel. So gently like fold over the towel. Maybe I'll use two towels, but be gentle. Don't crush the lettuce. The towel should absorb the water, hopefully. I'm gonna get this into the fridge and I'm gonna check on this on like, an hour. French beans from Morocco. Drop the beans into rapidly boiling salted water. Bring the water back to the boil as quickly as possible and boil the beans slowly uncovered for 10 to 15 minutes. Whew. 
and run a cold tap over top of my beans so that they don't cook any longer. Okay, like three tomatoes. I need to wash these. Okay, so I'm gonna cut my tomatoes like something like that. Use a serrated knife for tomatoes. That way you don't butcher them. Which seems like, how many, how many people is this salad for? Six to eight people. Uh, it's, okay, so I feel like I've already made a vinaigrette dressing uh, for the potatoes. So I feel like I'm just rehashing this. I'll try to keep it brief. Two tablespoons of white wine vinegar. One eighth teaspoon of salt. One eighth teaspoon of hot mustard. Whisk it until the salt has dissolved. Six tablespoons of olive oil. One clove of garlic. And I'm gonna grate that right in there. Pepper, good old fashioned shake. So these are anchovy fillets. See, I'm saying fillets now. I used to say fillets, but everyone around here says fillets, so I'm, I'm going with fillets these days. Anchovy fillets and extra virgin olive oil. So how many are in a tin? I need six to 12. Okay, so I'm just gonna use one tin. Okay, I don't need all this. I bought way too much. Since these are covered in olive oil, I think I'm just gonna like kind of dry them off a bit. I'm just gonna wash the olive oil off. I don't like it on there. There's this little area on the anchovy that has some bones still attached to it, so I'm just gonna trim that off because I'm not a fan of that. Okay, I mean, that's the look of them. It's not in the book, but the video I'm watching of her make this salad, she pours dressing on top of the anchovies. Tinned salmon chunks. And I got some Mediterranean Greek Kalamata olives. My two hard boiled eggs. Okay, this just fell right apart. Luckily I made extra. I need to quarter this egg. Be gentle with your egg. Just before serving, season the beans and tomatoes with several spoonfuls of vinaigrette. Okay, so I need a bowl. It's a salad bowl. Lettuce from the fridge and it's pretty dry. How about that? Should I rip it up a bit? Yeah, why not? Like how much do I need really? It's just me. Pour in just a little bit of dressing. I got salad tongs. Okay, place the leaves around the edge of your plate. Potatoes go in the center. I made enough potatoes to feed a small army, so I'll worry about that later. Okay, I need the tomatoes. Go around the outside. Add some beans here, there, everywhere. Three to a group, okay? A little bit more dressing on top, around the edge, just a little bit, Jamie. Okay, my hard boiled eggs. Yeah, in the video I'm watching, she has some capers too, and I like capers. So I'm gonna, this is not in the cookbook, but I'm just gonna add some capers on top, because those look scrum deliumptious. Okay, and now I'm gonna get the anchovies on there. Greek Mediterranean Kalamata olives, pitted, of course. The tinned salmon goes into the center on top of the potatoes. Potatoes. Parsley on top. The last piece of the puzzle, the pias de resistance. That's it. <laughs> This is a lunch that's just gonna fill you right up. Of course, what's not to love about a well put together salad? It'd be great if you could like share it with people and it'd be, it's like one of those salads where you take a little, put it on your plate, and pass it around. <sighs> Will you want some salad? Are you done? It smells good. I'm just finishing the last part of it, but I can give you some salad. Okay, I found someone that's gonna help me eat this salad. It's very filling. It's a big salad. It took a long time to make it, so there's a lot of components, and if you pick some of them and made them in advance and then piece the salad together when you're ready to eat it, it'd probably be better that way rather than like, I'm hungry, I want salad, and then you make that, and then like by the time you're ready to eat it, you've already eaten something else. So, noted. But besides that, the salad's great. This was Jamie and Julia. Bon appetit. See you soon.